Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how you can increase the field strength of these bowl shaped magnet arrays if you take several of them and insert them each into the other one. And I will show you what I mean by that. So I have three different sizes of these arrays. Here I have the large one and I also have the medium sized one and I also have a small sized one. And I will later put them together so you can see how the field strength increases. But first off, let me show you how these are made, if you haven't seen that yet in my older videos. So this is a small one. I know this is in red, but this is just the opposite polarity as the blue ones. So the red ones are south poles facing inwards. So all of the magnets that you see here are south pole facing inwards. And here with the small one, we have 54 pieces of 5 mm neodymium cube magnets of the highest strength, N52 grade, and a 10 mm disc magnet at the center. So just for you to know how these magnet arrays are built. With the medium sized one, I have 59 pieces of 8 mm cube magnets and a 20 mm disc magnet at the center. And with the large one, we have 89 pieces of 10 mm cube magnets and a 25 mm disc magnet at the center. And these arrays are already quite powerful. I will show you them under the magnetic viewing film just quickly so you can get a rough idea of what the field looks like and also how far it extends as you can already see if you view this from the side like this then let's have a look at the smaller ones field of course looks the same just a bit smaller as you can see from here and also the small one like this and what we are going to do is we will measure the field strength at the center point with my gauss meter that i have here just turn them on and here the black dot is the gauss probe itself so what i will do is i will place it right at the center point of this bowl shaped magnet array and as you can see at the center we have yeah, we have 60 millitesla with the small array. Just remember these values a bit throughout the video. You will see why this is important. Then we have the medium sized array. If we go to the center, yeah, we have around 77 millitesla here. And also with the large one, just at the center point, we have around 80 millitesla. And what we are going to do next is I will just take these two arrays and put them together. And there, obviously, since all of the poles all of them are facing the same direction, they are attracted to each other. So with the blue arrays, all north poles are facing inwards. And now that I combine these two, the field strength will drastically increase especially at the center point. As you can see, we are already at 137 millitesla here at the center point. And just to give you an idea of what the field looks now, if you view it on the magnetic viewing film, if I go right on top of the array, you can see a slight change on how it looks like. But overall, if I go further away, it still looks the same, except for that the field extends far more than before. And yeah, obviously, the field strength just around here is much higher than before. And also, it's not just at the center point that the field is stronger. It is overall, um, overall in this area, field extends further and is stronger and I can show you something similar with my south pole arrays here these are the red ones they are exactly the same just all south poles are facing to the center which makes no difference in field strength 
I've added the medium sized one to the large one and I'll show you this under the field view again. You can already see how far the field extends with this one. If I go away really far, let's view this from the side so you can get a better view of what I mean. And now let's measure the field strength here. Remember before with just the large array or with the medium sized array, we had 80 millitesla at the center and with the medium sized 77 millitesla at the center. Now I will measure at the center again and we doubled that value by just putting them together. We have yeah 158 millitesla right at the center point. And yeah, you can already guess what's coming next. I will just take the small array and place it into the center, which I have to do carefully because it's attracted so strongly. And by the way, I didn't design them to fit perfectly into each other. I designed them separately from each other. I did not intend to do this. This was just an accidental discovery. So yeah, they almost fit perfectly into each other. But there is, for example, here a millimeter gap, so I added some cardboard here, so it's right centered here, and this one extends out one or two millimeters, which is not that bad. But just so you know, I didn't design them to fit perfectly into each other. It's just a coincidence. And now I'll show you again with the field viewer. If I go further away, field extends even a bit more and of course it's even stronger here and i'll show you this with the field or with the gauss meter we have 215 millitesla here just to remember i will just take the small array alone here we have 58 we take this one again, 250, 215, sorry. So you can see it's almost four times the field strength right here. And I think this is a really interesting effect that the field gets, if, if we put these half spheres of magnet arrays together, that the field strength amplifies this much right around here. I haven't seen this strong of an amplification in the field with other arrays before. Of course, if you take um, yeah, magnet arrays, like for example ring magnet arrays, there is a field amplification at certain configurations, but I haven't seen it in, yeah, in this extent with just putting several magnet arrays together. And I'll show you this in a different example. If I just take um, one of these disc magnets that I used for the medium sized center magnet, this is the 20 millimeter disc magnet, and I'll just show you the field strength of these ones. Of course, if I measure around here, we get at the center around 380 millitesla. If I go to the edge, it's around 440 millitesla. Remember, this is right on the surface. If I go just one millimeter away, you will see how the field strength decreases. If I go one centimeter away, it's much weaker already. So, just that you get an idea of how strong the field of this magnet is. And what I want to show you is, if I take another one, I have to be careful when I do this, so I don't break them. Now we have two of them, but the field strength doesn't increase that much, of course a bit. Now we have 500 here and we have 520 millitesla at the edge and around 480 at the center. So it did increase a bit, of course, if we add two magnets together, but not nearly as much as with the other configuration, configurations that I showed you before. And this is what I mean. If we take 
again these three arrays you will see all of the magnets are facing right to this center point so that's why we got such a strong field amplification and strength which i will show you again and uh, i just take the probe and hopefully you can see this and show you how strong the field and st it's still at the distance over here is remember the magnets are inside here so the gap from magnet to the probe here is still yeah a few centimeters already and we still have like it's quite heavy <laughs> grab it better the the field strength is still around 200 millitesla at a distance of a few centimeters so yeah it's absolutely fascinating how strong the field gets around here and the magnet arrays that i show you here especially these two ones the small and the medium sized ones i use them for healing purposes i've made a video a while ago a few months ago and explained this thoroughly and how to use them you can also purchase them at my shop if you want to and the 3d printing files for these arrays are also available for free if you want to make them for yourselves i will link everything in the video description and yeah i think that's enough for this video so hopefully you learned something new and enjoyed what you saw so thanks for watching and have a nice day. Goodbye.